Purple. Which dinosaur was the smartest? Mm, that one's kind of tricky, actually. It is kind of tricky. And the answer might be a little trickier than you might think as well. As a matter of fact, do I get to answer my question? All of these books agree that there's one dinosaur that might take the cake when it comes to the title of smartest dinosaur. And it's this little guy called Troodon. And the internet agrees with these books as well. When you look up what the smartest dinosaur is, nearly every top search result says that it's Troodon, a small meat-eating dinosaur that hunted in packs and had a brain about the size of a golf ball, which means that it has the biggest brain-to-body ratio of any dinosaur and therefore is the smartest. There are, however, a couple of problems with this theory. First and foremost being that we don't actually know how big Truodon's brain was. A famous paleontologist from the mid-1800s named Joseph Laity was the first person to discover a Troodon, but all he found was a single tooth. And he misidentified that tooth as being from a lizard. A little less than 50 years later, a Hungarian paleontologist, Baron Franz Nopscha von Felschu Silvash, reclassified the Troodon as being a megalosaurid dinosaur. But a little while after that, another paleontologist thought that Troodon's tooth looked more like a Stegoceras's tooth, which was a Pachycephalosaur, a cousin of Pachycephalosaurus. But it gets even worse, because later paleontologists disagreed with all of these theories, and at least three separate times assigned small meat-eating dinosaurs to the genus of Troodon, namely this guy named Stenonychosaurus. Stenonychosaurus was actually known as Troodon all the way through the beginning of the 21st century, and it was likely this dinosaur that began the theory that Troodon was so smart, because Stenonychosaurus had such a large brain case. The only problem is, is that paleontologists now don't think that any of these previous theories are right, and Troodon is back to being a single tooth. And it's kind of tough to identify how smart a dinosaur is based off of a single tooth. But I know what you're thinking now. If Troodon is just a tooth and we can't measure his intelligence, then wouldn't Stenonychosaurus be the smartest dinosaur, since it is the dinosaur that had the really big brain case? And the answer is... maybe? Most of the time when we're studying dinosaur intelligence, all that we have to go off of is the hole in the skull where the brain would have sat. We've only ever found one fossilized dinosaur brain before, and it was from an iguanodont, which isn't even closely related to any of the dinosaurs that we talked about earlier. But even if we found a Stenonychosaurus's brain or a Troodon's brain, it's extremely difficult to measure intelligence just based off of the size of a brain. For example, Asian elephants are incredibly smart. They have a massive brain with an estimated 251 billion neurons. They're so smart, in fact, that they can paint pictures that they've been taught to replicate. But who taught them how to paint that picture? Humans, who have much smaller brains than elephants with less than half of the neurons. Elephants are also smart enough to recognize themselves in a mirror. But do you know who else is smart enough to do that? Ants. And ants aren't the only smart bugs. The Porsche spider has been known to change its hunting tactics over time based on its past experiences. And just as another side example, Destin Sandlin of the channel Smarter Every Day helped to discover a new species of spider that builds anatomically accurate fake spiders on its own web to make itself look bigger. And then it sits at the top of that fake spider and plucks the strings of its web to make it look like the bigger spider is moving. I'll put a link to Destin's video in the description so that you can learn a little bit more about that spider. It's pretty cool and I definitely give it a watch. Anyway, the point of those examples was to show that bugs have really tiny brains, but are still capable of doing some pretty smart things. So even if we had more dinosaur brains, we might not even be able to measure how smart they were. So in short, we might not ever know which dinosaur was really the smartest. Can I answer my question now? Sure, go ahead. Is the answer on the card true or not? Yeah, it is. Thank you. Which dinosaur was the heaviest? You know, that's also a really good All right. Oh, Come on, guys. Well, thanks for watching today, guys. We hope you enjoyed learning about Troodon with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell notification button. And leave a comment about what your favorite dinosaur is. And who knows, maybe someday we'll actually find out that your favorite dinosaur is actually the smartest one. If you have any questions, you can leave those in the comment section as well, or you can always come and visit us in person. We've always got staff ready to answer any questions that you might have. And we'll see you guys next time.